And from the EDC, helping uh, putting this thing on all across the county with uh, uh, Jennifer and Karen here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you both. And uh, tomorrow's a big day. Tomorrow night, 5.30 to 7. Mm-hmm. And uh, I've been working really hard to secure some great representatives who will be uh, at each of the three locations to answer questions and what's uh, great about this uh, is that folks are going to be able to ask some some questions and, and things like that let's start this off and uh, the need for this arose it just it's important to um to educate people on fire prevention you know make people aware of what the you know the what could happen pause for a, a couple minutes and think about you know your toe hitch like we've talked about the chains dragging on the highway we had um, so many fires last oh, year, yeah. yeah, and we're set to be even drier this year. Mm-hmm. I think we had a fire on the way out of town last week. <laughs> Carnart and I were on our way to a meeting, and she leaned over and went, "You know, this is just." <laughs> It's good advertising yeah. for the forum to come yeah. and really look at what it is that yeah. that you're doing that you might not even think would start a fire. Mm-hmm. I was edging my lawn last Saturday and it was so dry that I could smell a few of the pieces burning so I just put that away and went you know what we're fine not and, and that's from <laughs> the edger striking, striking the, the rocks concrete. and stuff yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's huh. the little things like that that you don't think about. Maybe just water down your grass before you decide to do some wow. lawn maintenance. But yeah. it can strike so fast. The it old can. weed dragon is in hibernation. Yeah, the weed dragon. Though, the, <laughs> no, well, no. I just remember when I was down in California at my family ranch house. I says, well, Jeffrey, you're not allowed to mow the lawn after 10 o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. Because it's so dry. Wow. And any sort of rock strike. Phew, yeah. And it can go up. I I grew up in Texas, and you weren't allowed to have fireworks, so it's nice that we still are able to have fireworks, but even even the cities, they would have the fire departments come out and just essentially water a field Mm -hmm. days before you started doing it, because Mm -hmm. it's so dry, it goes up so fast. Where's this going to be at here, Karin? The uh, Belfair location is at the North Mason School District boardroom and Bo Bakken, Jeremy Hicks, and then there'll be a representative from the Department of Natural Resources there. And they actually have a woman that will be there to speak about her situation. A couple weeks ago, she was doing what she thought was a small burn and it got um, away from her and had to call for help. Wow. So and yeah, the, she'll and be talking about that. Fast, like it that. happens very fast. Um, we'll have Chief Mike Sexton in Hoodsport along with Brandon Heggie and then another representative from Department of Natural Resources. The Civic Center will have the, the larger panel. So, you know, Belfair and Hoodsport may not last as long. Sure. They might be a little bit shorter, but we'll have Norma Brock, uh, Public Information Officer with Central Mason, Deputy Chief Mike Patty, uh, Captain Whitehouse, and then a representative, representative from the Department of Natural Resources. Okay. I know District 4... Um, uh, Chief Burbridge will be there to show you a go bag, an example of a go bag for like ten dollars, and this is everything that you need to get by for a few days. Mm. So we're, yeah, still overwhelmed by all the support mm. and everybody coming forward to donate their time. When we were doing our little pre-production meeting last week, you mentioned something that Bob was saying from District Four about, you know, we used to have uh, diaper bags, right? One like that you just taken and had your diapers and clean and cleaned your clothes and wipes and this and that and this everything and that. Everything you need for everything a baby. Everything you need for a baby. <laughs> yeah. And then the baby kind of is done with all that. And you don't have the, the bag anymore. But mm-hmm. That was, yeah, Tammy at emergency management with the county was asking me if I had kids and talked about that. And I thought, gosh, that's a really, that's great. She's right. Yeah. I don't have anything now, you know, we talked about the DuPont derailment. I was on the road for seven hours. I didn't even have a granola bar. Sure. It's so, I'm going to be paying attention yeah, yeah. <laughs> to this one. I'll be up at Hoodsport. Mm-hmm. Jennifer will be here at the Civic Center to um, to help this with this. Um, and you're going to be there yep. to do moderating, which we appreciate sure. you so much. That. You, Mason Web TV and Tiger Media, mm-hmm. and to be able to reach folks that can't make it. And Stephanie up at North Thurston is, or sorry, North Mason is yeah. our host up there, but we'll have board yeah, members there she's as well. fantastic. Yeah. <clears throat> and there'll be tables set out, lots of information that mm-hmm. you can grab and go. And I know if you're reading, you're not listening to the panel, so feel free to take what you need to take from there and read it mm-hmm. later, research, make your plan, really kind of 
utilize those resources. You know, I think last year was quite a eye-opening experience for many of the folks here in the county. You had just gotten here in July, and yeah. I remember... Um, <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, there were some smoky skies around, yeah. We yeah. were doing the uh, Loving Golf Tournament, mm -hmm. and as we were leaving the golf tournament, we saw huge plumes of smoke, and I know Sean Wells had to go, and he went and covered that event, and that was kind of the start of a whole huge mm -hmm. summer that was unlike many summers over the years. We've had huge fires, right. singular huge right. fires. Mm -hmm. This was a multitude of these things all mm -hmm. over the place with lots of damage. Yeah. So besides all of the education that the fire professionals will bring to us, uh, they're also going to talk about... Um, how we as a community can best support our firefighters. Mm -hmm. You know, they were overwhelmed with um, multiple uh, deliveries of pizza and Gatorade and water. Well, you know, and it wasn't, we, it's appreciated. Our community is amazing. But um, to be able to take those resources to the appropriate places and know that, you know, when you see all the tents up there from the, the wildland firefighters, they've got a kitchen set up there. They're pretty well taken care of. Um, but they'll explain to us how, okay. how we can best um, support, support them. So you're not yeah. getting in the way of the efforts. Yeah, you're, yeah, right. you're really helping. That's a good yeah. One. yeah. So it's yeah. tomorrow night, 5.30. Mm -hmm. Goes until about 7.00. Yeah, we in will different have food. locations. Oh, yeah, and there'll, there'll be, be food at each one too to help people. Do they'll the dinner they'll hour. be munchies at each one. Light riff, yeah. I know, I know it's kind of dinner time, but it won't be a dinner. You will uh, some finger something foods. to keep your brain active. Are you going to be grilling? Or? Not a whole. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to be grilling. Yes, we were just talking about barbecue put safety. That fire out. <laughs> yeah. I did. I did melt a fire or melt a vinyl window. And broke a window. Oh, okay. so we, have, we have other people providing food. <laughs> yeah. That was a long so time was, ago. Cold, that was Norma Brock tree. coming over for dinner, her and her husband Dan. So, yeah, it was great to have them show up and I'm putting out the house. You know, just okay. kinda. Welcome in. Welcome in. So, yeah, then I, like I said, I burnt the steak. So, you know, we all remember that it's night. It's a total fail. But, <laughs> but I love those two, they're great. It so, happens. They probably went to McDonald's. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> finger <laughs> finger on foods only. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Finger <laughs> foods. <laughs> Jennifer Karn, good to see you, and we'll see you tomorrow night. Please make sure you come, and if you haven't uh, uh, heard more about this or looking to find your neighbors to bring them down, uh, all the information is available, and we'll make sure it's uh, also streaming on our on our website, Mason Web and Tiger Media for sure, too. Yeah, so. and all of those out of the county. I know my family in, in Gig Harbor are going to be watching. Oh, yeah. So it's yeah. great for any mm -hmm. neighborhood, any community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our yeah. fire here affects yeah. every, everybody. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's good to know. Good information. Yeah. So thank you for doing that.